What's up, CF students? We are in week two of a series called Personal, Not Private. In this series, we want every student to have a personal relationship with God and a faith that's their own. We also want every student to recognize that faith should be shared and not merely kept to yourselves. Our faith should be personal, but not kept private. Last week, we began this series by discussing what the gospel is. We discovered that the gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ, who made a way for us to return to the right relationship with God. This good news is not just for others, but personally for our lives. We established that the gospel is real and personal. And this week, we're going to discuss why it is important that we share that very gospel message with those around us. Does anyone here have a sweet tooth? My go-to for something sweet is peanut M&Ms. I don't know why, but ever since I was little, they were just my go-to sweet treat. As I got older, I started to realize that the bags of M&Ms had more air than actual candy. So instead of getting your standard size, I upgraded to the share size bag. Even though that bag was designed and marketed to be shared amongst friends, I would find myself going through a whole bag by myself, hoarding all the sugar and then question why my stomach hurt after eating a whole bag. Or maybe you were the friend in school who would bring snacks and everyone would ask you for some, but you only shared with your friends. Sometimes I think that we do the same thing with the gospel. We take something that was designed and created to be shared with everyone, but we keep it to ourselves. The gospel of Jesus Christ is meant to be shared with the world. Tonight, we're gonna to be discussing that our faith is meant to be personal, but not private. Every student should be able to share the gospel with these three truths. The first one is obedience is required. The first truth for why we should share the gospel is a simple but often overlooked one. We should share the gospel because we're obedient to Jesus when we do. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20, it says this, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these disciples to obey all the commands I have given you, and be sure of this, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. You see, Jesus gave his disciples clear instruction on what they were supposed to do now that he had risen from the grave. They were supposed to go and tell everyone all that he had taught them through his life and ministry. Jesus is clear in his commission to his disciples that their mission in life was not to take this personal revelation of who he was and keep it to themselves, but rather to share it with everyone that they encounter. Their reasonable response to the gospel was to obey this command. And ours is no different. The gospel of Jesus Christ requires the same obedience from us today. Which brings us to our second point for tonight, which is your placement is strategic. The second truth of why we should share the gospel is because our placement is strategic. And by strategic, we mean that God has a reason and a strategy behind why he placed you where he placed you. While sometimes it can feel like what we're doing is small or insignificant, God often uses many small moments and decisions to accomplish great and impactful things for his kingdom. We can be encouraged that God has designed us intentionally and has given us what we need to do for what he's called us to do. We all have a part to play. All of us have a role in how we share our faith. Think about this. You could have been born in any time period to any parents in any country, even any state. Yet God designed and planned and created you to be right where you are now. The family you were born into was not a mistake. The school you go to is not an accident. You were designed on purpose for a purpose. And you were placed on this earth amongst your specific family and friends on purpose by God and for a strategic purpose by God. You were born for such a time as this. It's time to be the light. It's time to share the gospel. It's time to play our part because this news is just too good not to share, which is actually our third point is that this news is too good. You know when you go to a restaurant and it's just so good that for the next two weeks, you just can't stop talking about it? Like you want everyone to experience this food because it's just that good. And sometimes we'll say things like, bro, this will change your life. Why do we do this? Because we want everyone to have the same end result that we had. We want them to experience the same joy that we had being there. 
And the same is true for our relationship with Jesus. This news of Jesus is good news, and it's way too good for us to not share it. He loved us all so much that He died for us so that we could be reconciled to God. He saved us so we can spend eternity with God instead of apart from Him. We can have a relationship with God who created us, designed us, gave us gifts, and is generous with His love and mercy. And that's just too good not to share. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. That's in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 15. Being the light means that in schools, we share the love of Jesus. We do what Jesus would do. We love like Jesus. Those around us should be able to know that we are Christian just by seeing how we act. We should be like a city on a hill that draws the attention of all people who see it. The good news of Jesus Christ is too good to keep to ourselves. And if you're asking yourself, what is this good news? Let me tell you, the Bible says this, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. John 3, 16 through 17. And that news is just too good to keep to ourselves. There's forgiveness, love, acceptance, grace, mercy, available to all people. And it's our job as believers in Christ to share this news with as many people as we possibly can. So our bottom line is this, the gospel is too good to keep private.